The summer of 2024 has arrived. We hope that June was sunny, filled with hope and faith in good and bright things. Now let's remember together the news in the field of human rights in Belarus for June 2024. This is the 12th newscast hosted by me, a cartoon avatar of human rights defender Nasta Loika, sentenced to seven years in prison for her human rights work. Nasta has been in prison almost 21 months. Every year, on June 20th, the whole world pays tribute to the strength and courage of people who were forced to leave their countries to escape conflicts and persecution. We must stand in solidarity with those who especially need our support and understanding. Write down the contact details of our reception if you or you know someone who needs legal help. The story dedicated to Refugee Day can be viewed at the link below the video. In the spring of 2024, the Human Constanta team conducted an analysis of the public opinion of people from Belarus who are in country and abroad on how they relate to different categories of migrants. How often do people from Belarus communicate with forced migrants? Only 13% of respondents had communication with migrants. Are people from Belarus monitoring the humanitarian crisis on the border between Belarus and the EU? 15% closely follow the news. 61% read about the crisis along with other news. 17% of respondents do not follow the news but are aware of what is happening. Detailed analysis is at the link in the description. My voice was created by cloning the voice of human rights defender Nasta Loika. For this, the Human Constanta team asked Nasta for verbal permission and received consent. However, the question how to maintain your reputation when cloning voices in the era of artificial intelligence is not an easy one. So we have prepared an article for you. The link is in the description. Online gambling has become an integral part of the modern digital world, but security should not be forgotten. To keep your data safe and clean, I offer you a few simple tools. Use a fictitious name and email address unless your real one is required. Use a reliable application. Set up two-factor authentication. Use anonymous payment methods or cash. Pay attention to the presence of legal licenses. Don't forget about possible fraudulent activities. How can nonprofits manage privacy and personal data responsibly? Firstly, by implementing the basic principles of the GDPR into everyday work, such as legality, fairness and transparency, restriction on purpose, data minimization, accuracy, storage limitation integrity and confidentiality security, accountability. Head more in a series of publications devoted to this topic. Links are in the description. As always, Cyber Beaver is committed to security. In this episode of the cartoon, Cyber Beaver explains in detail how fraudsters operate and what methods they use to gain trust. He also gives useful tips on how to prevent such attacks. Be vigilant and remember that real banks and other organizations will never ask for personal information over the phone or email. And if you need advice from Cyber Beaver, write to him in a special bot. With trepidation and a little excitement, we are pleased to share our new product, the Human Rights Horoscope with Kyrzorka. Be part of this exciting journey and discover how to unlock your human rights potential with us. The horoscope is available via the link in the video. Thank you for spending this time with me. We always look forward to your reactions, likes, comments, suggestions and criticism. See you next month.